you know, aside from that now, you know, you had a lot of multi-talents, man. You know, yeah, you're, you're, you're a producer, yeah. you know, songwriter, you sing. Yeah. You know, can you know, you worked with a lot of people. Can you can you tell the people a little bit about that, that side of what the songs you've done? Can you name just um, some of the songs you've done. I man? did y'all know me from doing um, Dancing on Me, DJ Webstar, um, featuring Joel Santana, Jim Jones, um, Trav record um, called Ride the Wave, Christian Dior record called Are You Ready, um, Fred the Godson featuring Vital called Headbanger, um, Jada Kid's new single called Toast to That featuring Fred the Godson, um, Um P record called What You Talking About featuring um, Jada Kid's Lloyd Banks, Fred the Godson, um, Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls, um, Nobody Can Change Me. Yeah, the list goes on. I mean, I mean, I think he might go an hour, man. Hey, the list, I mean, the list, goes the list goes is on, really man. long, man. It's not, a, it's not a game, man. It's a really long list. How did you, how did that come about first with um, Dancing on Me, that record? How well, did that, how did you I'm known Web. I'm known Web for about going on like eight years right now. So, um, uh, Web called me at that time. Pop Champagne was a big record. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ron Browse, he was killing the streets with that record. So Web was like, yo, bro, I need a record that's going to kill. Like, it, it, I need a record that's, it, 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 it's got to compete with Pop Champagne. I was like, all right, bet. Go in the crib, and I, I do the beat, you know what I'm saying? Whip it up, boom, send it to him. And to be honest, I, ne I didn't even like the track. Wow. Because that's not the kind of music that I do. So I did it. I was like, I don't really like it. I sent it back to the web. He said, yo, this was crazy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, you, you like this? He was like, yeah, yeah, you bugging. This is fire. No lie. The next day he called me, yo, bro, it's about to be crazy. Fuck, Master Flex going to drop bombs. I got two wells and Jim Jones on it. I was like, that's that. He was like, yeah. He said, yo, when you get back, we're hitting up every club. We're going everywhere. First day I got back, we went to like, must have like 12 different clubs. Like, it, it, it was crazy. And then, as you know, within like a few weeks, the record just flew. Like, I looked at it like, all right, this is gonna be my, this is my first opportunity to have my first big record on the radio. Exactly. So, you would think I would go in the studio like, yo, I'm gonna do, nah, I, I just made it. I didn't even <laughs> like it. I just made the track, I gave it to Webb, and he went crazy over it, and the record blew. I didn't know, the, I didn't know the record was gonna blow up like it did, you know what I'm saying? I sung the hook on it. Like, I, I didn't know it was gonna, you know, blow up like it did, you know what I'm saying? But God is good. God is good. Mm -hmm. you know? And that was the number one song in the country, right? Yeah, number one song in the country. How did that feel, man? Man, it was, a, it was a great feeling, you know what I'm saying? To, to see the Billboard charts and see that the record was number one, you know what I'm saying, in the country. It was, it was an amazing feeling, man. Amazing. The greatest feeling in the world. So, I mean, I know you do, you got different types of music, though. It's not, right. just, it's not just gonna be party music, it's gonna yeah. be different. Yeah, I do, I, I do pop music, I do everything. It. I do country, pop, techno, dance, R&B, rock, you know what I'm saying, I do it all. And the girl from the Pussycat Dolls, the Cole, how did that come about? Well, that? Um, I was working with these writers called The Hitters, and um, they had a manager called Derek Thomason. You know, he sent the record over to Ron Fair, at Interscope, my fair heard it, he was like, yo, Nicole need this record bad. And the following week, I sent over the track, sent over the vocals, and she cut the record. And then right after Dancing with the Stars, the record was out. Right. She she will permit it on um, Ryan Seacrest. You know, we saw you a lot with Fred the Godson. Right. You know, and This Is 50. I was right. killing This Is 50. Right, 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 yeah. You know, video after video. Yeah. It was really a movie. Yeah. And you know, you already got the acting experience. So you already know. That was just, that was something great, man. That was yeah. phenomenal. Now, you know, that was something for his mixtape. You know, are y'all gonna work on like a duet mixtape or something like that? Cause you sing this, you sing. Yeah, you, know, you sing, you great um, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't I don't know. The fans wanna know, man. Like, I, I don't know, it might happen, it might happen. I don't know, like, the thing about it is, people don't know me and Fred are running each other 24 seven. Like, when I say 24 seven, it's 24 seven every day. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm, I'm one of his main producers and I'm one of his main, his, like his main engineers, so. We like together like every day, you know what I'm saying, working in the studio. But I don't know, it might happen. He might come out with a mixtape, you know what I'm saying? I definitely his mix his new his new mixtape is definitely dropping out real soon, you know what I'm saying? I got three joints on there, I got the headbanger, I got the toast to that, and I got this record with him, Batman Scoop and Lloyd Banks. It's gonna be crazy. Man. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Oh man. You know and that's Fred the God from that for y'all don't know. He's from the Bronx. He got yes, a song out with Diddy right now. Yeah. You know, so he's really major. Now watch out for that remix. That remix that remix about to drop. It's gonna be crazy. Mm. 
Can you, can you talk about that remix? What? I can't talk about oh, it yet, man. but it's crazy though. Oh, it's, remix it's crazy, is crazy, man. Yeah, remix is crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah. You know, let's. You know, there's some rumors that you also, you know, you could be working with just um Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus. Is, can you clarify that? Is that true? Nah, that's not true. That's I, haven't, I haven't worked with them yet. I want to work with them. Work yeah, with I want to work with them, but I haven't worked with them yet. Okay. Okay. Now you know what kind of advice can you give to an upcoming, you know, person that's trying to do, um, you know, uh, write some songs, sing, um, as far as even the acting, um, being a producer, like the business side. A lot of times, you know, it's mostly about business, mm -hmm. and talent as well, but really business. What kind of advice can you give to someone who's trying to go into? It? Um. Well, let's start with the acting yeah. side. Um. The acting, you know what I'm saying, as far as being a good actor and being in that business, you gotta be focused, you gotta be dedicated, you know what I'm saying, and it's, 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 it takes a lot of dedication, you know what I'm saying, because acting is not the easiest thing in the world, like, you know what I'm saying, it's definitely not one of the easiest things, so I definitely want to say stay focused, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and study your craft, you know what I'm saying, and just not only in acting, anything you do in life, you know what I'm saying, study your craft, you know what I'm saying, try, try to perfect it the best you can, you know what I'm saying, um, music industry, you got to have good people around you, <laughs> and you got to have loyalty, and you have to have a great team. Like, if you don't got a great team, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I can say that I'm blessed for. I have a great team, you know what I'm saying? My team is called New Wave, Sass Music for Life, you know what I'm saying? Which is me, you know what I'm saying? My partner, Sass Manager, Hunk, you know what I'm saying? Jabba, my first artist, Mona L, you know what I'm saying? And my, my, my songwriter, G The Diary. Like, I have a team, you know what I'm saying? And they believe in me and it's, and it's loyalty. And in this music industry, you gotta have some type of loyalty because if, if, if you don't have no loyalty in your team, it ain't, it ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be focused, you know what I'm saying? And don't be so quick to sign off for anything, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Let your lawyers go over it, look over it, you know what I'm saying? Pray before you, you know what I'm saying? Put that, 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 that pen to that, that paper, you know what I'm saying? Pray, you know what I'm saying? Believe God and you'll be good, and you'll be good, you know what I'm saying? Even, I mean, you know, he elaborated on a lot of things, so I hope y'all taking notes. And you see his perseverance, you know, he, he's, he's been putting in putting in work a long time. So y'all yeah, just thinking, he just came out of nowhere, and you got the big song Webstar, which is all good, but he put in a lot of work. That's why I wanted to talk about that. He definitely put in a lot of work. So you even did, you went to school for acting? Or, nah. No, no school. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and he still came far. Yeah, hey, a lot of y'all are going to school. You got to take it serious. If you have the opportunity to go to school, take it serious. Don't get me wrong. Definitely go to acting school. It's, it's a good thing. Just that I never really had to do it. It just was like a natural talent. You know what I'm saying? You know, automatically. You know, he was blessed with that. But also talk about, you know, your label. You mentioned your label, right? Right, right, right. We got New Wave slash Music for Life. You know what I'm saying? What's that about? First artist, you know what I'm saying? Come on, there's Mona L. Straight from Harlem, female rapper. You know what I'm saying? About to be the biggest star coming out real soon. You know what I'm saying? So y'all look out for that mixtape that's out right now. I'm part of my back. You know, got JD Kiss on there, the Batman school. Break the guy's son, OE. You know what I'm saying? I hope she never flown. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the mixtape is crazy. That mixtape is crazy. Where can they get it at? Um, and, and these stores, like in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? The little boutique stores, sneaker stores. Um, oh, we're actually doing, soon we're doing a shutdown. Next weekend, you know what I'm saying? Basically, we're going to all the five boroughs. We're going to shut it down, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be stopping traffic, so y'all might see us, you know what I'm saying? So that, Coming to y'all. Definitely, he talking about that. I mean, where can the people, you know, stay in tune? You know, stay in tune with you. You know, you got follow, a Twitter, you got a Facebook. Right, follow me on Twitter, you know what I'm saying, at Remo the Hitmaker, not a DA, that's a T-H-E. You know what I'm saying? Um, my Facebook is Remo Green. Hit me up, man. And also, you know what I'm saying, I'm looking for a female artist too right now. You know what I'm saying? I can sing, I can dance, and is dedicated like Beyonce. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? If, 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 if you know that's you, hit me up on thehitmaker10 at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. I'm looking right now. And he said Beyonce, man. So, yeah. I, man, you got to come correct. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You already, see, you already know his catalog. He's you know not what playing. Saying? He if, if, if you ain't coming correct, don't send it. So they got to <laughs> dance and everything? Yeah, they, they got to sing, dance, everything. They got to be a star. Your hair got to look nice. So you got to look. They got to be a star. I mean, every, a star, everything. man. You yeah. know what a star is. Yeah. Don't play around. Don't waste his time, yeah. man. Definitely, man. So, any, you know, tell the people, any other projects that we can oh. look out for? Right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm working on JD Kiss artist Imani. You know what I'm saying? We just dropped this single out on him a few days ago before I'm out. 
the, the feedback we getting from the record is crazy. They was spinning it crazy in Sim City, bringing it back, bringing it back like 12 times. Like it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? So that record definitely gonna be on the radio next week, you know what I'm saying? So y'all look out for that, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm working on my, my artist, Mona L Project. Um, I'm working with uh, Jada Kiss right now. About to go in back in with him and a couple more people, you know what I'm saying? Well, definitely. So, man. you know, I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna close out the year with a banger though. Definitely. Mm. Definitely. You heard it first, man. You heard it yes, first sir. on KTV, man. Thanks yeah. again for Thank coming you, by. Man. You a busy Thank you. individual. Thank you, my you chief. Know, you know the hit maker. Yes, sir. Again. New wave, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. Chief, I gotta put it up close. Definitely go to that pit, you know what I'm saying? That's it, that's how I'm gonna get it, you know what I'm saying? You wait, man. So let's go to that Easter celebration. Let's toast to that. Toast to the street life. This is how we eat, right? Strip hard, strip bars. Gotta keep the heat tight.